Hey guys, so I found what must be the most ridiculous, most confusing clip ever. And I want to share it with you because I keep on giving like that. But uh, it's fact it shows a woman who's the Australian ambassador for women and girls. And yes, that's actually a government position. Um, her name is Christine Clark. And she's going to tell us all about the connections between climate change and rape. Don't laugh. It's a thing, you bigot, all right? So we're going to go through this together and get educated, all right? We thank the panelists for their insights. As we confront the climate crisis, women and girls' human rights must be at the centre of our collective efforts. Clim yes, as, we've com if, as we confront the climate crisis, women must be at the centre because, you know, when we have climate catastrophes, women most affected. Climate change and its consequences can exacerbate the risk of sexual and gender-based violence. This risk is most acute for women and girls facing multiple and intersecting forms of discrimination and inequality, including Indigenous women and girls. Okay, stopping this again. So, when there's a catastrophe, let's say, wildfires it's non-white women who are most affected just so we're on the same page because there's connection between climate change to use her term and rape that they're, they're a thing don't argue australia is committed to achieving gender equality and eliminating sexual and gender-based violence including during emergencies Australia is providing funding to train disaster responders to identify and support women and girls experiencing family and domestic violence during and after natural disasters. We stand with Pacific women and girls in responding to the climate crisis, including by providing negotiator training to support women delegates from Pacific Island countries to represent their countries in international climate change meetings. Okay, I can't take any more. But seriously, people who argue about climate change are now telling us with a straight face that there's totally a connection between it and rape and sexual assault. Like, I'm not arguing here in favor of rapists, um, just so that we're clear, I'm not. I'm just, I mean, I'm on her side, totally. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch. Uh, do you drive a gas-powered car? You're a rapist. <laughs> this is the logic of the Australian government. It's not me, it's her, it's them. This is the way that they're going with it. Um, I just don't know how to report on it. Do you drive an electric car? Well, see, this this actual response is real. Then you're contributing to the to the exploitation of children in regard to the mining of cobalt, which is also a finite resource. So, how do we fix this problem? I think I figured it out. You pay more taxes. That's obviously the fix. You hire more bureaucrats like her because if you weren't paying taxes, let's just say and there wasn't a position like the Australian Ambassador for Women and Girls, then um, would you even know this was an issue? I don't think so. Exactly, exactly. So this, this is actually the fix. You just keep paying your taxes into these positions. By the way, I don't think there's an Australian Ambassador for Men and Boys. Maybe that's because it's presumed that men and boys are capable of speaking for themselves and women and girls need specialized representatives who can speak for them. Uh, I don't know. I'm just guessing here. You made it to the end. You either really liked or really hated that video. Let's assume you liked it. There are lots more that you can choose from. And also you can follow me on Gab and various other social media sites. And if you are able to support the channel, that's an option for you too. There are links in the description below. Thank you so much.